Before administering medication by IV bolus, ensure that the drug is compatible with the existing IV solution and any additives in it. If required by facility policy, double check your dosage calculations with another nurse. I wanted you to check some calculations with sure. me. Sure. All right, that's good. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Mr. C. Can I see your ID, Ben? Then verify the patient's identity according to facility policy. Explain the medication's purpose, side effects, and administration route, and encourage the patient to report any discomfort at the IV site. Uh, if you have any problems, any discomfort, any pain, you need to let me know immediately, okay? All right. Next, Compare the label on the medication syringe against the medication administration record. To deliver an IV bolus through an existing line, locate the IV tubing injection port closest to the patient. Dilute IV boluses is necessary according to facility policy, the pharmacist, or a drug manual. If at all possible, use a stopcock or other needleless device. Using an alcohol swab, clean the injection port and let it dry. Then insert the needleless tip of the medication syringe through the center of the port. Pull back gently on the syringe plunger to aspirate for a blood return. If the IV is patent, inject the medication over the time recommended by facility policy, the pharmacist, or a drug manual. Use your watch to time the administration. Pinch the IV line when pushing the medication and release it when not pushing the medication to let the IV fluid infuse. After injecting the medication, remove the syringe and check the IV infusion rate, adjusting it as needed. To deliver an IV bolus through an intermittent IV device, such as this patient's saline lock, identify and instruct her as shown earlier. I'm going to give you a medication called Lasix, and I'm going to give it through your saline lock. Can I check your name? Sure. Okay, and what's your name? Bethany Johnson. And what's your birth date? 7 11 55. Okay. You have to take an alcohol swab and wipe the Then clean the locks injection port with an alcohol swab. This first one is saline. It's just to flush the line. Next, insert a syringe of normal saline through the injection port of the saline lock. If using a pre-filled saline flush, be sure to expel air prior to administering the flush. Pull back gently on the syringe plunger and check for a blood return. If the IV device is in the vein, Push slowly on the plunger to flush the site with normal saline while assessing for infiltration, resistance, and discomfort. If resistance occurs, stop and evaluate the cause. Do not continue to apply force. If needed, discontinue the IV and start a new one. Then remove the saline syringe
and clean the lock's injection port with an antiseptic swab again. And this Lysix is a diuretic. It'll make you urinate. So if you need any help... Now insert the medication syringe into the injection port and inject the medication within the recommended time. After administering the medication, withdraw the syringe and clean the injection port with an antiseptic swab again. Again, this is saline to help push the medication all the way through your saline lock. Then insert the second saline syringe into the injection port and inject the saline at the same rate you used for the medication. With either technique, Assess the patient for stinging at the IV site and other adverse reactions during the injection. Hi, Ms. Hi. Johnson. Hi, doing? Good. I'm here As to part see of your follow up care, observe the IV site for sudden swelling for 48 hours after IV bolus administration. Okay. It's been fine. Okay. Well, it looks real good. Just let me know if you notice any irritation with that. Okay.